Testing, testing. Hey. What's up? Let's do hey, this. Hey, what's up? And welcome to Freestyle Lives on Stereo with Latif and Angel, a new platform where we come together to discuss various topics regarding the freestyle music scene, where it's been, where it's at, and most important, where it's going. But we can't do it without you, the freestyle community. We encourage you to join in the discussion, ask questions, and share with us your ideas and opinions. Because together we believe that we can define this culture as it was meant to be. And not only enjoy it, but also benefit from the many opportunities it has to offer. If you're not already following us, please do so now so that you never miss an episode. And today's topic is the importance of Freestyle's Facebook group admins. Very good. Boom. How you doing, babe? I'm doing awesome. I can't believe Friday is Christmas. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. I have Are so you much... ready? Yeah, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> did you buy all my did you get all my gifts already? Absolutely not. <clears throat> I didn't what? even get all the kids' gifts. I gave you the list like freaking seven months ago. How you didn't get my I stuff know. yet? So I'm so far behind on everything. Yeah. True. The holidays. Yeah. I so know, what do you think I... about uh what do you think about this topic here? I think this is a great topic. Listen, those people who have those uh, Facebook pages, those admins, yeah. they have a yeah. passion for freestyle. That is the reason why they have those pages. Right. So I think it's right. awesome. Now, do you think that, um, because I looked at it two different ways. I, I know there are definitely those that have a passion for it. Um, but you know what the, the groups remind me a little bit of is back in the days when we had the message boards. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, now a lot of times I remember this. This is so crazy. It sounds kind of, you know, kind of, I don't want it to be negative, but a lot of times the people had, we had a few of them that were, had these groups and the groups were cool because there was only a couple, mm -hmm. but we, I used to see how these people in these in the these uh Facebook, I'm talking about the message boards, how they used to utilize the message boards almost like a monopoly, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like yeah. their way of finally being cool, like oh, okay, they're with the cool kids now, like somebody's paying them some sort of mind. And I remember mm -hmm. that, you know, I know that sounds a little bit negative, I'm not trying to go there, but I'm just kind of going back a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. what the Facebook groups remind me of, but how did the face the message boards happen back then? And I, I knew a few of the people that ran them. We had a decent one also, but mm -hmm. I was busy. I was like literally in the business. Some of these other people were just fans, and um, I never saw. I, I can. I never understood. Like I thought they would start these message boards to basically to help the community. And to me, it ended up not being, that wasn't the case, mm -hmm. you know? It, it just became like, uh, almost like, I don't know. It was like almost, almost like a monopoly. You know what I mean? And right. then, so and then we got Facebook and Facebook started the groups. They, they started doing it, which I thought was a great idea. Um, right. and, and pretty much the same way. We started getting a lot of people that started starting these groups. And all they were, like you said, they were fans of the genre. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, they, I don't know, they were, they were, I couldn't find the purpose. I couldn't find, okay, so why, you know, what's the purpose of the group? And it just, and it wasn't even to a point where it was like a, a group of people that were hanging out and, you know, just kind of communicating about this. It was like, it was still a free for all. You know, when right. you think of a group, you think about a group, you think about people talking about a subject and everybody kind of chiming in and kind of working on that subject. Right. But these, a lot of these, these groups, these uh, Facebook groups just basically became like fan sites, you know? Right. Did you see that? What, do you, do, are, are you clear? Do you understand what I'm talking about? I absolutely understand what you're talking about. Um, when you went back to those message boards, you remember I wasn't on any of those message boards. I have seen right. those message boards. I was only on your message board. 
Right, right. And that- you know, I saw those message boards. You know, they 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 claimed to be fans of freestyle, right. but look, for, they did a lot of them looked for anything negative that they could post. Right, right. Because negative back then it was well, negative. I think always sells. Like right. The inquirer, you know, I mean, people just like that. Right, you know, but um, this, this was the deal with that. This was the deal with that. When I would see them say something negative about an artist, well, you know, that artist is stuck up. You know, I tried to have a con- conversation with them and they were short with me and whatever. I'm like, okay, so where was this conversation? Was this during them signing autographs? Because everybody knows you have to keep the line going when you're signing autographs. Yeah. You can yeah. be as kind and nice to the people there when you're signing their autographs. Right. But you do have to keep the line going because there's other people that want autographs. So you cannot stay and talk to someone for an hour. Yeah, right. So I right. understood what the situations were. And, right. you know, a lot of times it would be, well, they really weren't being a certain type of way with you. It was because they were doing their job. Right. And their right. job yep. was to sign those autographs. Yeah. For I the fans. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I yep, remember yep. seeing things like that and... You know, you know, it was a bad, you know, it was, it it wasn't right. It was wrong, you know? Right. But at the same time now, okay. So now at the same time though, we've got to realize now here was a brand new form of technology Mm -hmm. and people just didn't know and still don't how to utilize the technology, you know? And that happened with everything, with every social media platform. Now people Again, a little more rigid. There's a purpose, and and this is this is this is where I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to come with this, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I you see, there's a lot of like I mean, you hear fans of freestyle, uh, f- freestyle lives forever, freestyle, and and those when you hear stuff like that on these groups, and and and, and trust me, this is not a strike against groups. I am a fan of the groups. Absolutely, I make that very clear. Absolutely. I'm a fan Absolutely. of the groups. What I want to try to do, and this is us together, not saying I'm coming in and I know what the hell I'm trying No, but what I'm trying to, to do is now, especially now going into the new year and hoping that we go in there with some changes, is how can we take these groups which have really, really kind of set their foot in on the ground, people know them, they have their followings. How can we really have these groups benefit the genre? How can these groups benefit the genre? Now, remember, we also did a group called Freestyle Against Phonies. Okay? Same mm-hmm. thing. I wasn't 100% sure how to utilize the groups. I did the groups for a totally different reason. Mm-hmm. My my intentions, but they were a specific reason. It was right. to release information or give information to those who were not aware right. and it was about and because during that time and even though now it pretty much died out and I'm, I'm i'm grateful for that there's still you know still there's still some controversy going on out there but it's open it's exposed there's, there's no more the deceit is very minimal it still exists but it's still it's still minimal it's minimal but there was a time when some of these concerts had 12 acts eight of them were, were basically fakes they were phonies and right. what was happening is there was really a lot of people that if they if they recognized the fa- the the artists on it any of the artists as being fake they didn't know why and mm-hmm. they figure they figured it was okay it was okay with the genre it was okay with the market that it was this was an okay thing and what we and did it was okay, and it was okay with the original artist right and that it was okay with the original and like everybody was Kumbaya, everybody was in agreement, you know? So what we wanted to do with Freestyle Against Phonies, as a group, we had a purpose. And the purpose right. was to make people aware of the situation and also to um, make, create an, uh, a platform, to make a, a platform available to anyone who wanted to speak out against this or for it, without being biased because remember we you know just like we had people against the whole phony uh community we had those that were cheering it on 
for whatever reason. They were either part of the, the crew or friends of the crew, whatever the case. But we still right. allowed the platform for them to speak as well. Because mm -hmm. I felt that if I was to delete everyone who was cheering on a phony, if I was to delete that, then I totally screwed up the purpose of uh, of the group. Right. You know, and I felt that, you know, if we can, if I went and I deleted everyone who was for phonies, then guess what? That we would have nothing to speak about on that group because everybody be on the same page. Right. How are you going to, how are you going to create a conversation if everyone is in agreement? You can't. The only way a conversation is going to really work is if you have opposing opinions. Right. And that was the reason why I allowed that. And during that course over, when did we start? How long has that group been around? 10 years? Yeah. About 10 years, you know, and yeah. during the course, during the course of this group, we've educated a lot of people. We've opened up and protected the integrity of certain artists. We've exposed people who were intentionally um, uh, perpetrating. Um, and we also gave, you know, created some sort of justice to those who came across as perpetrators, but there was another side to the story, you know, mm -hmm. there was another. So what I'm trying to say, you know, cause I don't want to go into the whole phony thing, but what it was is that we created the group for a specific thing. Now during the course, of course, during while we have the group, people came on and people, they posted their flyers and they posted their lives and their DJ sets. And we allowed that if it got too mm -hmm. excessive, we would delete some. If it got way too excessive, we would delete that member because we didn't want it to be about that. We allowed people to come in and to to promote, we still do. We were like, okay, cool, you know, because we're not talking about phonies 24 seven. So let's just, let's leave the platform open for other people to enjoy uh, different things. But this is the same thing as, that, I'm, that I'm trying to get through for these group admins. And remember, like I said, I did that for a purpose. I, you know, I didn't go into freestyle against phonies with a plan. Mm -hmm. I, ha I had an agenda. But right. when I looked at it and I thought about it, I said, okay, you know what? I actually did this right. I did this right. I could have probably done it a lot better, but I was okay. I created a group and I, I made this group of people of like-minded with a problem that together we're trying to solve. Right. Right. So now we have- But I think, I think if you look at some of these Facebook groups, I mean, yeah. nobody's the same. Nobody's nobody had the same reasons for 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 starting their group. But you have those people that mesh. just had a you have those people that just had a love of freestyle. Right. You have those people that wanted their position in freestyle. I mean, there's <clears> just <throat> all different reasons why. Right. You, right. You might have a group that had a bunch of admins who just loved freestyle, and they decided to just make their own group. Right. You know, so but, everybody didn't do it for the it, same reason. But this is the deal. This is what I'm trying to say. If you can look at, if you can read posts on each one of those groups without looking at the title of that group, you will never know who's talking. You cannot tell what group you're on. What Am type right? of group you mean? You mean what type of group? Yeah. No, whose group? Like if it was, you know, this one freestyle or that one freestyle. If you listen, read the content under of each one. Let's say you couldn't see the title of the the name of their group. Let's say you couldn't say the name, but you could go into the group. Right. You can't tell. You can't tell one from the other. Right. So well, you know, there are some that I that that I can tell. There's this one that they always ask questions. Okay. Okay. There you go. See. All right. And that you know one stands one out. It stands out. To Do me. you know which one that is? Do you remember the name? I think it's growing up freestyle. Okay, okay. Something like that? Yeah, so, you know, but those groups, I'm hoping... That's one stands out. And no, two other ones that stand out, I'm going to tell you why they stand out. Because they're for okay. a certain... For, when they're for a certain state. Like, um, oh, Felicia has the Connecticut one. And one, yes. and Marty has the Freestyle Nation, which is Chicago. Okay, so those stand okay. out for that reason to me. You know what I'm right. saying? No, but However, I, mean, I understand what you're saying. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Right. But some of them stand out to me for different reasons. There's the other one that he always posts. Um, he always posts um, Good Morning. Okay. 
you know, post a picture of an artist and say good morning, and you have everybody saying good morning back to him. Right, right, okay. He stands okay. up. See, so they all stand up to me for for certain reasons. Okay. All right. I'm not somebody who gets on them and post, so I can't really say everything about them. Yeah. But they'll yeah. go down my feet. Like I allow all of these people to add me to their 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 um groups. Right. Yeah, and you consume and I don't take their information. Off. So you go and I don't take you... myself off. Yeah. And huh? you go in and you you and you go in and you read. I don't go in. I, I absolutely don't go in. But it's on my oh, feed okay. sometimes. So I'll read it okay. as it's going down my feed. Oh, I got you. Okay. okay. I rarely have time to go into anybody. I have barely have time to go to our group. You think I'm gonna go into right. other people's groups? Right, so right. I'll okay. read it while I'm while I'm going past it. But certain yeah. things about those groups stand out yeah. to me. Yeah, you I know what I'm saying. That. So if yeah, if I have a group that if I somebody's uh, information comes on my feed, I'll look mm -hmm. if I see it's from a particular group. If they're really pulling me, a lot of times I'll click on their title, and I'll go uh -huh. into their group and I'll kind of kind of uh -huh. just look around, see what it's about. Was that an off yeah. thing or were they really? Is this the quality? Is that what they're? Is they? Are they really about this? You know what I mean? Um, I, you made right. a point though about like the ones that were uh, that 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 cater to certain markets. Like you know, yeah, like right. that girl Madi. Um, she does Chicago. However, I would suggest that she somehow, some way, some way, add the name Chicago, the title Chicago, somewhere in her group. And I think that would be a big benefit. You know, right. Felisa um, has Connecticut yeah. in hers. Felisa has she Connecticut has Connect in hers. Yeah, and that's a in great, great, right. And that's a great marketing tactic. That's great because it, it tells you, you know, sometimes people don't want to do it because they, they want to get other people all over. So, you know, but then you kind of mix in with everybody else. But, you know, right. there is nobody else. I don't see anybody else doing it, uh, Connecticut freestyle. So, therefore, she stands out. She stands right. out. <clears throat> um, right. I've seen, I've seen Canada. I seen Texas. Oh yeah, I saw Canada. I saw Canada. Yeah. That's right. I saw that one I've too. seen. I I've seen uh, Colombia, Medellin. I've seen Medellin. I saw um, um I think... uh, was it um 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 Brazil, Brazil. Right, Brazil. 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 Yeah. But you see, these people add me to their groups. Yeah, yeah. I don't add myself to groups. People add me but to it, their groups. But if you see a good a good post that they that's coming from their group. You read their posts, you consume their stuff, right? It's not like you ignore it. Right, right? it's going down. Listen, it's going down my feed. So okay. every once in a while, something will catch my eye. You know what I'm oh, saying? I got you. I got you. I got something you. will catch my eye. So now, so those those make sense. Those those groups that uh, pinpoint a region, I think, are mm -hmm. excellent, excellent, excellent. I think they could play a huge role because, and especially if you don't really have. That much freestyle going into the, into that area, you would like to see more. Those groups can be a very a huge asset to that, right? Because they're and an asset to the promoters, and an asset yeah. to the promoters. Absolutely, a absolutely. You know, and uh, so I think that's a great, great angle. And I I, I suggest anyone who's uh, trying to market to like their state or their city. Um, to find a way of incorporating the name of that city into your group uh, name. Because if you don't, somebody else might, and they can easily take, they can easily take your spot. I'm just being real. So, you know, I don't know if Marty's listening here, but if she does and she listens to this, I would, I know what you said, husband's Freestyle Nation. Yeah, I think it's Freestyle Nation. All right, so keep Nation, maybe Chicago Nation. Freestyle Chicago Nation, whatever, or or Chicago, Freestyle Nation, Chicago. You know what I mean? Or Chicago's, Chicago's Freestyle Nation. There you go. Boom. <laughs> you did it even better. Yeah, boom. That's that's yeah. right there. Because if she did that, it's a hundred percent clear. Also, Facebook likes that. Facebook will will pick that up. And other people that are from mm -hmm. Chicago, they'll see it and they'll want to pop in. They'll want to pop in and see what that's right. about. So I think that's a great thing. And anybody who's Representing a particular region, state, city, whatever you whatever you feel, uh, the cities are best. If you can, you can do a state. That's cool. Um, but if you do a state and someone comes and does your city, um, you could lose out. So you, you might right. want to consider doing uh, doing your city. Um, I think that'd be right. great. Uh, and you could build a great community, and also your community can end up meeting in person. You could do meetups, which are which is cool. You know, because mm -hmm. you're just representing that that area. So, 
Now, let me ask you, what do you think about, what about the ones that are not, like what are some of the other angles that you think people could set up groups to represent? Because this is all, this is all back for the genre and this can all help out the genre. Say that again, I'm sorry. You were breaking what up. Other, what other, what other targets do you think these groups can, you know, what can they target to set them to be different, to set them up to be unique, you know, instead of having fans of freestyle, freestyle fans, I love freestyle, freestyle is my life. Think about those. They all set the same shit. They all set the same shit. And that's cool. If all you want to do is be a fan site, then that's cool. And everybody's not going to want to change. But what if, what if certain groups did pinpoint or target something specific within the freestyle genre? Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas, any suggestions? Um, um, some can even do like the freestyle in the 80s or old school freestyle or new school freestyle. Or, or... Okay, and there's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. I follow a lot of them. Right. So we do have, there are those old school freestyle. The freestyle, there's one that says freestyle from the 80s, 90s and beyond. There's one right. that goes like that. Those okay. are cool. Still, to, still yeah. to me, more too general. What if they said something like, "I'm just doing some corny, random title just to give people the idea." How about, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ladies who love freestyle? Mm, there you go. No, you know what I'm saying. I know it sounds corny, but does you understand? Well, so I mean, you know, targeting... it, really it really doesn't sound corny. Because I love no, stuff that's my title. Love. I always oh, want to check. Know, ladies, <laughs> ladies, ladies love freestyle. Ladies love freestyle. Yeah, I would check it out because of that. Right. Okay. okay. That's almost to me. That's one of the ladies who love shoes. Hell yeah, I'm going on that site. Yeah. Because I yeah. love shoes. You know right. what I'm okay, saying? So, and, right. So these are other ways of creating, you know, fans. We could do them by region. Right. We could do them demographically. We could. I, do I absolutely think that's a great idea. Idea, you know. That's just like ladies, ladies who love to cook. I'm gonna go on that. Or people who love to cook. I'm gonna go on that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like or a people freestyle, who love to cook free, Italian food. Okay, I'm going on that. Right. Or freestyle for the younger generation, or you know, for freestyle for twenty one and under. You know. Uh, do right. those, those do those exist? Even though a lot of those kids are not supposed to be on freestyle, whatever the case. But you um, know, you know, it's a great idea. What a singles one for f people who are single. Oh, look at that shit! You got a lot of people who are single that love freestyle. A, they get to meet other good, single people. <coughs> that's a great one. That's absolutely. Yeah. That's a great. That's but, you a know, great single one. people are always looking for a way to meet new people. Yeah, Facebook. A lot of couples have been made on Facebook. Absolutely. I know several. And even on those message boards, remember the message board, a lot of couples got together. Oh, on those yeah. Messages. Oh, yeah. You know? Yep. I mean, it all started with their love of freestyle music and they ended up yep. getting together. Oh, wait, you know, you totally, you're, well, whoever's name you put up totally uh, clicked off. What do you mean? You said somebody's Hello? name? What? Yeah, did you, did you say somebody's name? No. You said they they ended up getting mad. They ended up starting. I just said couples. I just said couples. I didn't say anybody's oh, name. Oh, oh, couples. That whole word just disappeared. Okay, I didn't okay. hear it. All right, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, right, right. Yeah. So now, what about people having groups regarding issues, but issues that have to be addressed don't have to be. Doesn't have to be negative. Um, I know somebody has, but that will be promo also. But yeah, you know. Um, I love issue. I love issue groups. Are you kidding? I love those. Then you, you know get to speak it. with people who have the same issues as you. Hell yeah, I love those. Right. I think that's right. a great idea. Yeah, because all the other markets do them. All the other markets do them. Yeah. You know? You know? Uh, huh. um, yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, you know, so, you know, I haven't really put my mind to it as far as, you know, we we dealt with, you know, we have Freestyle Against Phonies, which deals with uh, a problem within the yeah. genre. 
what can we do? You know, how about a meeting place where producers meet artists? What about a group of just producers and artists? That's great. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like I'm... I'm, I'm or, uh, or, or, or a group where new producers and new artists can meet each other. That's even better. Yeah. If you're a new yeah. producer, a new DJ, new artist, you can all meet each other. <clears throat> Yeah. You might be able to meet people who you can collab with in your area. Right, right, right. So right. yeah, because you're going to have people who are new to it, more enthusiastic than people who are already in it. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, you know, so yeah, so topics like that, um, uh, people who are, like people who are trying to break into the business somehow, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, maybe people who are trying to get into other areas of the business, other, you know, whatever does, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, how can, you know, you know, I just think that if some of these groups, but some of these groups have a really nice following, right? you know, and though they're there, they're really not, it's not a big contribution to the genre. Even if they run, even if they post peoples and they allow, people to post their you know their ads or whatever yeah you get a handful but it's you know it's just an advertisement it's just an advertisement it doesn't really you know it's not really you know but how can the groups themselves benefit the genre how can they just contribute you know i think they can and will if they want to maybe they don't want to maybe they're just there to be a fan site yeah i believe that you know what I'm saying? It's not their or job. They, it's not their maybe, job. They're not being paid right. for it. But but this is what I'm trying to say is like I believe that a lot of them, when they started, there might have been only a because a lot of them have been around for a while. They just started when they first came out. Okay, yeah, I got this fan site, freestyle, da da da, and now they gain X amount of followers and not not much activity. You go onto the pages and it's it, you know the activity is you know. You get the hello, hey, good morning. Like you said, good morning. You get 20,000 good mornings. Okay, cool. We know everybody likes a good morning, <laughs> you know? But um, everybody- I will tell you this. I, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I haven't found a group yet that is not supportive of the freestyle artists. I haven't found a group yet that does that wouldn't allow those artists to, to, to um, post their, their flyers for their shows or their right. new music or anything. They're very supportive of the artist. Right. So right. I think it's up to the, it's not up to them to get the, 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 the stuff to post. The artists themselves mm. or the DJs or the promoter. Right, right. You reach out to them. You ask them if you can post there. You ask yeah. them to help you. Right. I think it's up to the people, not the not the people who own this. But site. maybe that maybe 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 the people who are running these these pages, maybe they're just they never thought about it. What I'm trying to do is try to strike some some interest, just something right. put, to put in to put in their head to say, hey, you know, you have a great platform. It's right. a powerful platform. We have this incredible genre that we're a part of. It's still mm -hmm. going. It's still strong. How can you contribute? How can you take what you already have? And what can you do to to kind of help us out? To help right. us out. Maybe in turn we can help you out. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, what can we do? What kind of quality? Like, I, I don't want to take it as though we got, you know, 30, 50 freaking groups and like everybody's just a, a site. They're just a fan site. And there has to be one or two people in there that are uh, that really see a, a, another picture. And maybe well, I feel like they would be more. open to that. I feel like they would be open to that. And I think, I feel like they would be appreciative of that. Mm. Of people noticing their, their page. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. And, and, and <laughs> people wanting to, to, to be a part of their page and wanting to help them with their page. Right. To help grow. Right. I want them to realize that, you see, I think about the admins. I understand them. I don't know if anybody else has given them props. They mm -hmm. might give them props. They might give some of these admins props if they put up their flyer, if they help them, if they post their show, they post their new release. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Once in a mm -hmm. while I go in, I might post my books, so I might post something, but not all the time. I don't do it constant, but I still appreciate them. And sometimes and I you, feel and that you don't spam it. 
No, don't, yeah, don't spam. I don't see spam. people go on Freestyle Against Phonies and put the same post. Yeah, yeah. Like 20 times yeah. in a row. It's like, bruh, bruh. Yeah. You're not getting anybody into your post, even if you post it 20 times. It's if anything, you're back. annoying them. Yeah, if anything, you're annoying yeah. them at this point. It's like, but, oh um, my God, again? But remember, a lot heck? of these... A, a lot of these admins are fans, right? And a lot of fans are shy. A lot of fans are shy. They're, 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 they're shy to come to an artist or they're shy to even come to, let's say, somebody like me and say, hey, man, you know, like, is there anything I can do? Right. You know, like, just to really put... Well, maybe that's groups. something you should put into your agenda for the new year. Reach out to these admins. Right. Okay. Okay. Maybe you should do that. Hey, is right. there anything okay. I can do to help you? Right. Okay. So that all of us can benefit and the freestyle market can benefit from this. Yeah, because I want people to know that there is no, you know, because, you know, it's... Yeah, or, or, and, also, and, also, and also just to let them know you appreciate them. You appreciate what they're doing. Right, right. You know? We all yeah, appreciate I mean, I, I think that so many of them have the potential to really stand out and to mm -hmm. really, really make a difference, you know, mm -hmm. probably, honestly, you know, you know, we, the, you know, we only have like four thousand members, but you know, one of the most memorable groups is Freestyle Against Phonies. Right. Like every single artist, producer, manager knows about this group. Well, every you know why? One. Because a lot of people know know that they were able to say go on there and say their piece. It didn't matter what it right. was. We didn't have to agree with them. Right. Right. And people know a, we, if, if you got kicked off, it's because you threatened someone. Right, Can't have right. anybody threatening a, anybody. Yeah, that's the only time I knock them off is if they is this a physical yeah, threat. Yeah, you threaten life. somebody. Cannot threaten yeah, yeah. somebody. Or, 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 taken. or if you start talking about like people's kids or their mother, your mother, you know what I'm saying? You start getting stupid like like we're back in freaking you know junior high school, then I'm going to knock them off. Now, you me know? personally, I, and, I, and, I understand when people get upset about that. Do I get upset about that? I don't give a fuck. No, it's not that. It's just and, and and you know what? My parents, man, they rest in peace. I don't think they would give a fuck if these people said anything about. Yeah, them. yeah, that's not the point. You know what I'm saying? That's, or yeah, my siblings, I don't think they would care. No, to me, it just doesn't. It wouldn't look good for the group, so I don't want that. It doesn't you know look I mean? good like, for the group. Exactly, your mom, exactly. Your mom, your mama has teeth behind her neck, and she eats like this. <laughs> I don't, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't want that. But uh, yes. but you know, but but some of these other groups. You know, if they sat down and they really, really thought about, it, or if they consulted with me, where you know, of course, I would, I have no intentions of opening up another group, but if they consulted Absolutely with me, not. that's a lot of work. You know, I would love to brainstorm with them, and I have no strings attached. I don't want to be an admin or a moderator. I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know. But I would like okay. to see them maybe call me and say, "Hey, look, I got twenty thousand members." It's a fan site. My engagement is, you know, I get an average of, you know, maybe 40 people on a post. You know, what can I do to really kind of make make this make this group a little bit more important? Make it make it make it a contributor. Make it mean something to the genre. You know, I would love to sit down with somebody. Now, let me ask you something. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not absolutely knowledgeable on all this, so I'm going to ask you this. Those sites that they have with that many members, yeah. are they able to make money off of those, off of those pages? Yeah, there are different. Yeah, there are ways that, that they might can be, monitor. That might be an incentive. But for this them. is, but this is the problem. This is the mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. If any of those groups have fake followers, which uh... is very easy to do, right? So it's very easy. Yeah. You get a few thousand for 20 bucks, all right? Right. What happens is once you start doing that, you can't reverse it. You, oh, If you start running ads or stuff like that, what happens is you're going to get these people who have no intentions of, of, of buying from you or doing anything, and they're going to start clicking those links, and you're uh -huh. going to be paying for those ads. Remember, they pay per No, but that, that's not what I'm talking about. You, you got what I said... No, I'm talking about other people wanting to <clears throat> advertise their stuff on your page. Not yeah, you I advertising mean, on your page. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about other yeah. people. Can they make money from other people advertising on their page? 
You know, you might have somebody. You might have somebody who has their new single being released. Hey, do you think I could put this, 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 and this? Do my marketing on your page? I'll give you a certain amount of money. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't doubt if that's already gone down like that. You know, okay. but you know, again, you know, people will want to see the result. Like if if. You know, it might be, it might make more sense for someone to just start their own group and do it their way and do it. You know what I mean? So you have to see. So if you have a twenty thousand members on your group and I'm selling something and I get like no play on it, then then there's something fishy. Then where, where's where's the value? Then what's happening is you're not. See, the key is you have to give value back to your members. Are your members getting any kind of value whatsoever? <laughs> right. uh, see, a freestyle against phonies. People learn shit. People mm -hmm. learn, yo, la, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that that wasn't the real screw. Yo, man, I paid for that. I didn't know, man, I paid 70 bucks, man. And I didn't know, I knew something was fishy. Man, mm -hmm. I was asking, man, nobody was straight with me. I used to get there all the time. We gave a, we, we, we created value to the end user, to the fans. And mm -hmm. we told the fans, we said, you know, yeah, sometimes, you know, the groups will get on. Yeah, don't go, don't support that, don't support that. We're like, listen, you support it or not, whatever the case may be, doesn't mean we don't like you. Um, but now you know the truth. It's your choice. Right. Do you want to buy right. that that fake Rolex or do you want to buy a real one? Some people Absolutely. are cool with the That's fake one. Right. Some people are cool with That's the fake true. one. You know, yeah. they don't care. Some people will go to a concert. <laughs> <clears throat> Some people will go to a concert because they like the last three groups and they don't care about the right. la the first four that are all fake. Well, maybe or maybe their incentive can be, you know, if someone's, you know, uh, if someone's posting their shows, they could say, hey, you know, I'll let you post your show and I'll help you push your show, but give me a certain amount of tickets. And they can give those tickets away free on their page. That's a good one too. Very good. And well, I, again, I, I wouldn't doubt if they if that has already gone down. I like, that's okay. very, uh, very obvious, but no, that's really, yeah, there's, you know, there's, yeah, there's a lot of ways of monetizing. You can really get creative, but you know what? I'm going to look more on the engagement of the post than I will look at the membership because I know of how many different ways and how easy it can be to get members. If I really wanted to go hard on Freestyle Against Phonies and really get my membership up to 20, 30,000, I know a few ways of doing that, would, but I think my focus would have been off and it would have been the quality of people would not have been there. I now, I think, I, think it's really... better, I, now, I think it's better to be organic. Yeah, I wanted to keep... I'm organic I with to... Angel OTG. I'm organic with the original cover girls. Every member on there are people who decided to be a member because they are fans. Right, right, exactly. Not yeah, and that, to me... You know? Right, so you got... Yeah, so they're quality. You got quality. Yeah, you want organic. Yeah. yeah, you know, so some people will, will boost the... They will, they will get more. They'll buy these <laughs> likes or whatever. Just so that way it looks good, but I've seen yeah. that, I've seen that backfire later on. So you know, I'm right. I'm totally again saying, yeah, anybody who wants you know ten thousand uh, likes on your page, you could spend twenty bucks and and you can do that. You can boost that, and it's gonna look cute. But <clears throat> if you're really taking your business serious, um, it's not gonna benefit you. It's right. only gonna look good. That's like walking around with a a whole bunch of gold chains and necklaces. Yeah, you look good. But them shits, are, they're fake. They're electroplated. You know? Right. So how do you really feel? Are you really going to feel good about that? Right. I, know I wouldn't feel. I wouldn't feel good about that. I'll feel yeah. like a phony. You right. know? Right. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of ways, you know. But, you know, there's with all the... Listen, I love the fact that we got so many groups. There's a lot. Absolutely. There's a lot. I, I, there's probably like 50 of them. You know? There's a lot. And, I, and we need them. We need each and every one of those groups. I just right. wish that they can just sit back, especially now, right before the new year, and think. Think about it. Brainstorm. About it. What, Brainstorm. What, what can you do? Call, listen, if, if group one calls me and group two calls me, I will never reveal what either one says. But I can help you, you know, put, throw some ideas out there. Again, just <coughs> attached. I'm not looking for you to post my books or anything. No, I'm, it's all about the genre and it's about the longevity of the group and the quality of your group. Right. You know, right. I feel that, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I really believe that. I think, uh, 
I think we can um and you know, as I just, said, they already have the platform. They already have yeah. the members. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Why not grow it right now? Yeah. You know? Yeah, just got to get creative. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing the same thing. Now let's right. Let's, let's flip it up. Stop. Don't be scared of change. Right. Don't be scared of change. You know, find out, you know, find out where you like, let's say the ones, let's say the one that does Connecticut. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, what else can, you know, okay, cool. You're posting the shows from Connecticut. You could help, you know, maybe you could post bios, get some of those freestyle artists from Connecticut or from that area, have them come in and create a discussion, have them do an exclusive live on your group just for your group if they're from that area you know get creative like that you know that will that will benefit the entire genre and if everybody can get like that you know some of these people are creating i've seen i know a couple people that create groups just to monopolize the name of it i've seen it monopolize the name of the group yeah like they would just take names they had no real intentions but they say i love the i'm going to take i'm going to i'm going to create 10 groups and I'm going to call them all this one name or I'm going to call them these different names only because I don't want anybody else taking the name. And they'll create them and those... Yeah, and... What? Yeah, I can't hear you. I said they have too much time on their hands. Yeah. Um, you and they're yeah, not but, um, and they're not they're not using it constructively. Right, right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think, yeah, I don't think they had intentions. They had bad intentions, just creating those. Like I said, what they, they what they wanted to do was just take the names, and they didn't want nobody else to take because it was a clever name. Oh man, it's a clever name, man. I'm gonna go and create this now, so I have this, you know. And then, right. and they're gonna and, they're, and but it's a dormant it's a dormant page, you know. Right. And you know, yeah, people people do that, you know, just like people that sit there and buy all these uh, domains freestylewhat.com and they never really use them, you know? Or they have right. no intentions on using it. They just want to sell them, you know? Well, <clears> you but, uh, that. Maybe find it so they could sell it. Yeah, yeah, they could do that too. They could do that too. I just wish, like, I follow, I'm on a lot of groups for, like, other interests that I have. And I see uh -huh. how those other groups operate. And they're mm -hmm. very informative. Like, they're literally, they're teaching people. They're right. teaching people. You know, like, mm -hmm. you go on a group, for this or for that, and you're going to, let's say you're going to a group based on cooking. What are you going to see? You're going to see recipes. You're going to see techniques. Right. And then once in a while, you might see someone advertising some, a new, you know, some new knives. I was going to say that. that. Say. Hands, new pots. Right. Right. Yeah. So that makes sense. That all kind of works. But where's the value? Where's the value? The value is in those recipes. Now, right. with freestyle, you know, when you're just posting the same video, like every, you know, you're not doing, you're not adding value. You're really not, you know, you may, you, you're doing something, you're cute, you're putting it up there, but we can all do that. You're not giving us anything that there's no value. There's zero, like, you know, there's no reason you're just, you're taking something from YouTube or from another page and you're sharing it there. And it's beautiful. Do it on my page. I'm cool with it. I'm talking about legitimately adding some sort of value. Go in and create your own interview with an artist or with a new producer or and 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 put the story there. Post the story of how right. they started. That's a great, that's you know, a great that's, idea. Yeah, that's real value, you know? Right. And if the people want to go on to different pages, but don't take the same story now and share it with 10 groups. Change it up. I'm talking about if you want to add real value to that, you know? change up yeah. the story a little bit and give them, you know, and pass them out to these other groups, you know, but people start doing stuff like that and start telling more stories about how they got into freestyle and their love and what does it mean to them? And maybe they're, they're, they're at that at one time in their lives, they, they considered also uh, being an artist. Right. You know, Let, let's hear, let's hear some great. of these things. That's a great you idea know. when you interview some of the artists. And what they need to do is ask questions that nobody else asks. Try and right. find some questions that you've never heard answered. Yeah. By yeah. any of Right. Right. So, so you know, this... Right. Yeah. And that's, yeah. And that's a great way of, uh, 
Yeah, and that adds great value. Think about what you what you're doing. What you're giving me a YouTube video that I could go on YouTube and actually find find myself. Right. You know, I mean, you're not giving me anything. Okay, cool. It's appreciated. Okay, you're active on the group. Cool. Well, mm -hmm. let's come on. Let's 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 take it a step further. Yeah, I was gonna say take it up a notch. Why don't you check out some of these these Why don't you check out some of these these records or these album cuts and try to see if you could find some of the people that were a part of that that you we don't we don't hear about right and you could you could post something about them i love to see that i've seen where are they now do. like a, where are they now yeah or where are they now you know and then maybe you could even get them on i'm sure they would love that they were people who are not in the business anymore and did some great things they think that you know the world forgot about them sometimes by you just reaching out and say hey man can i send you these 10 questions and, them. yes you know yes. maybe you can answer these 10 questions for me you know and um right. and that might that might be a great idea you know right and yeah. um you know so you know so there you know this is what i'm talking about by by adding value you know don't just keep posting the same flyers or the same you see if you see a, 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 a if you have a club in your city that you keep that you keep talking about what if you post a, an article or something about that club? What about the history of the club? Or what, 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 if, you, what, what if you, if you go to those shows, what if you just took random pictures and posted them? That's nice too. People would love to see themselves at these shows. And I'm not talking that's about the artist, just random pictures of the people in the club. Fans, yeah, the fans and- the yeah. fans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've seen plenty of pictures of the artists. We love seeing them. But We'd like change to it up a little bit. Fans. I guarantee you, if you put 10 pictures up on my page, I'm going to look at each and every one. If the I mean, me, like when that. I think of interviewing, I don't think of interviewing artists. I would love to interview the fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In different yeah, we states. Spoke about that. Yeah, find out, you know, how they became fans of freestyle music, why they became fans of freestyle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I would yeah. love to see that. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah, I just, you know, I hope we can, uh, I hope some of this uh, this information kind of resonates with people. Yes. And I would love to see it. I would love to see a change. You know, I would love to see a change. Yeah. If I start seeing people change here and there, then, then I know that it kind of got, and I'll tell you, any, anybody who's listening to us and, and has a group and starts to make those changes, I guarantee you, you're going to move ahead. You're gonna right. move ahead. And you're gonna you're gonna surpass your peers, right? You know because you're standing out. You know, right. and we gave you we gave you you know a handful of ideas. We gave you a handful of ideas, um, but you wanna uh, you know you wanna you wanna take take just take from that. You can take the ideas if you want to run with them. We cool with that, right? Uh, but you might want to take and do an offset from those ideas and say, okay, cool. I can also do this, this, and that. Oh yeah, right. You could. You know, run, run with it. Go for it. The thing is, don't just don't be a fan page. Come on, be a be. There's a lot of those. If you really, really can, you would like to really play this game and really, and you know, have some sort of significance to the genre. Like you can. Everybody who has a a, a group, a Facebook group right now, uh, based you know that targets the freestyle market. You guys all have an opportunity to become a part of this history. You could become a part, a huge part of this history. Do you think Freestyle Against Phonies is somehow, some way going to be a part of the freestyle history? Absolutely. So, of course. Absolutely. Of course, because we made changes. You know, we've even So you're changed. saying, you're saying if these people want to reach out to you, these admins, they can reach out to you and Absolutely. you would bring up with them. Absolutely. And on, confidentially, that means one, one group would have no idea what the other one is talking about. Cause that's not my intention my intention is to see them all win right hey, i want to see them i want to see them all win because i win exactly I you're win not picking one run. yeah 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 if but all that's of great for all of us that's great for all of us if they all win you know they, it is it is you know but you know if they come in and they they really want to implement some of these ideas um you know they can they can really um they can really make a change they could really they could they could play a really important role, you know? And they could invent some new shit. Like, remember, there's no models to this, guys. There's no models. So it's not like I could point to somebody and say, you see how they did it? 
you do it like that. There's none. So you have to create your own. And then other people are going to copy you. They're going to see you and they're going to create, create their own and, and you're going to become their model. But then you got to keep on up in your game and just, and, and, you know, you guys could play such a huge, huge role in what we're doing, you know, try to pull, you know, people in from other platforms to come to your group so they can, you know, if they have to voice some opinions or whatever the case may be. And it doesn't have to be negative. That The negative side, listen, I'm not going to say anything about the negative. Whatever. Some posts, some groups. There's going to be negative about. and everything. There's going to be negative yeah, and so, everything. That's fine. If that's, hey, listen, if that's your thing, then so it. So be it. You'll be the shock jock of freestyle if that's what you're trying to do. Whatever. What, listen, whatever you want to, hey. whatever you want to, whatever you want to oh, do. Oh, see, something you just said. I think what? there's one of those artists that he's doing something like that. Like supposedly he goes on and he does like gossip and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's fine. You know, that's fine. You know, listen, if that's what people want to want to do, I think any of that stuff counts. I think it all counts. You know, um, right. find out, find your niche. See, see, the, the, right. the freestyle genre itself is a niche in it. So find your sub niche. What about it? Oh, I cater to artists. I cater only to producers. I cater to drummers. These people just create, do nothing but create drums, drum hooks for for artists. I Hello? do samples. Oh, yeah. You hear me? Are you hearing? Yeah, I hear you fine. Yo, my phone is. I'm getting so many messages at once that you're coming in and out. Oh boy. I'm that's getting a whole good. bunch of messages right now. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's fine. It sounded really that's good, fine. but you were saying, but it was breaking up in and out. <laughs> Oh uh, no! I'm See, sorry. That's the only thing. Yeah, the only thing we have to figure this one out, man, is uh, because I've yeah. heard a few people say, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of dropouts. But you know, we'll get it. Hey, listen, you know, like I said, we brought this into a uh, stereo, so that way we can have a clean platform, and people that we know that are coming in here, they're coming to listen to us, right. and then maybe listen, they'll it's stay. It's fine if you out. break up. I just did. I just didn't want to lose you. <laughs> that's yeah. why I said hello. No. Didn't want to lose you. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still here. You know, yeah. so, but let's let's hope that, you know, like I said, let's hope that we resonate. Some of the ideas that we came up with resonates with some of the people, some of those group ad, admin groups. Um, uh, I invited a lot of them to come in. Uh, they'll probably come in later, I'll probably hear the replays. Um, sometimes people are stubborn. Some people, uh, and I look at those people, you know, or, they really don't. They can be stubborn well, or, or, Maybe they just have to think about things. Or they don't care. It's too much work. Sometimes it's too much work for them. To them, it's not worth it. It's like, yo, but if I do that, I can't watch this, this Netflix series. I understand it. It's not for you. Good luck. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe it's not important That's enough it. to them. Maybe it's but not important. The 50, them. But out of the 50, the 50 groups, right. Out of the 50 groups, I bet you there's at least two that are really thinking about how can I take what I'm doing to the next step. You know what? You two are the ones that I want. Right. You two are the ones that we're talking to. The right. other 48, they're, they're probably, it's it's not important to them. And right. that's fine. That's Let them absolute. just keep doing. I don't want them to close their groups. I want them to keep going. I want people to keep joining them. I will, I will post on their pages. I will read their stuff. Keep doing what you're doing. But those who want to try to take it to another, to another step, there's an opportunity there. Mm-hmm. You just, you just got to think about it. Right. You got to think about it. You know, for those who don't know, there's still an incredible living being made within freestyle. You know, we're two of those people that make an incredible living in freestyle. And there we're only two. There's a lot. Yeah. So there's a, you know, there is opportunity. You know, as people making 100% of their living doing this. I try to say that because this doesn't have to be a hobby. Right. Nothing that you do has to be a hobby. You can get creative and you can get paid for what you're doing. Does it take work? Yeah. Absolutely. Is everybody going to get online to buy your service or to be down? No, they're not. It's like any other business. But the opportunity is there. The door is wide open. And I'm always inviting people to come in, you know, and see. And you know what? If you hear me and you don't move, your competitor will. So, you know, you know, definitely, uh, definitely tune into, uh, you know, to what we're doing and, you know, we're, we're here trying to help me and angel are contributing our part. The shit that we know, and we're trying to teach you, and we're trying to show you, we have no intentions in doing what we're trying to tell you to do, but mm -hmm. we need it done. So we want other people to do them. 
what we do is what we do. We already do it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to be an artist, that's cool. You'll never be Angel from the Cover Girls. You know, and she'll never be you. So there's no there's no competition. We can help people. We have a lot of knowledge. There's a lot we can help people right. with. Right. But you know, it, we we don't know where you need help. We don't know what the problems are. We don't. We need the questions. We need people to come to us and can you know confide in us and say, Hey, how do I do this? So ask us practical stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll show you the the steps. Right. If we know them. Right. You know, well, how do I do this? Or how can I do this? Or what you suggest to do? Ask us. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people are very, very intimidated. And I think a lot of people have gotten older and they feel like it's done. Ah, it's over, man. I wanted to do that when I was younger. Silly, man. That's silly. It's a technology age. You right. know? Absolutely. Just, you can be now, anything you want to be as far as I'm concerned. I can right. be anything. If you, right. If you were 50 years old in the 70s, then trying to do certain things might take you another 30 years. So it might be, that might have been difficult. Now, the stuff that you can do will take you 30 years, you can do in three years because right. of technology. So right. it's not, the variables are not the same. Right. So the opportunities for all of us is incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm still jumping on opportunity. I still, we, we have stuff that we're doing that is very clever you know and it's unique and it's different and you know we don't know if it's going to work if it's not but we, you know what we're going to give it a shot we'll give it our best, you absolutely know? listen if, if anybody's looking at this right now and um they're not on the stereo app please join the stereo app make your profile and follow us please follow yes. us yes yes and everyone else who tunes into us you know um we appreciate you um, I hope you, you see our intentions. Um, this freestyle, freestyles, unfortunately, we, we, you know, we deal with a lot of skeptics and I, it's understandable. It's been, you know, this has been a genre that has been through the freaking trenches and they have been dragged through the mud for a long time. So building trust among even our peers sometimes is, is a hell of a task, you know, and there's no way of asking people to trust us or that what we're trying... All we can do is just keep doing what we're doing and we just kind of hope one by one people will will just see what we're doing. Again, there's no strings attached. We're not asking anybody to sign on. We're not asking for your credit card information. <laughs> we have a, we're having, we have a, a serious interest in this genre. We know what it's done for us. It has done some incredible things for us. And we know that it's abundant. There's so many opportunities and so much that it can do for you as well. And our contrib contribution back, the way we give back to the community and back to the genre is by helping it grow and by introducing other people to it and saying, come on in and help us feed this thing. Mm -hmm. Help us feed it. You know, let's, let's keep, let's maintain the legacy. Anyone who has a part of it, you know, if it dies, we all die with it. We all That's die right. with it. And we, we don't want that to happen. All we'll you have know? some memories. Yes. Yes. So, you know, so we really want people to tune in. We hope we tune in. But uh, you got any last words? And you know what they have to realize is we're already in this business. Yeah. We're trying to give them that helping hand so they can be in the business. Yeah. You know, be a part yeah. of it. You know, what's so crazy is that this is a very odd situation because you're not going to get an agent, manager, an artist to come. These are, we are the prime, you know, aspects of this business we are the currently we're the ones that keep it flowing we keep everything going you're not going to get that that's very rare you're going to get people willing and that's what makes people skeptical they're like well all these artists and all these agents and all these managers why are you guys the only two willing to give us this info why are you two the only ones willing saying claiming that you could help us yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe because we feel young at heart and we feel like we still have a lot of time to still do what we want to do. And we understand it. We understand the abundance. We know. Right. We understand that there is no competition. There really is no competition. There's no competition. This is like a bowl of fruit, man. Whatever you're in the mood for, an apple, a banana, grapes, and you know what I mean? That's right. what this is. There is no, no, but picture a fruit bowl with just one fruit in it. 
Right. How boring would that shit be? No two artists are the same. Even no. if you have a bag of oranges, no no two oranges are the same. They're all different. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know so you know, so yeah, so we have a, a, a sincere interest in helping the community and to try to tell people who might have at one point in your life had a dream. If you had a dream at one point of getting a part, think about it. See if you could reignite that dream because I know I understand sparks sparks tend to burn out after a while. If your spark is you know lit for years and just nothing's ever come of it, it's very easy for that spark to suddenly start to diminish. And I understand it happens to all of us. Sometimes I have to re-inspire myself. Sometimes it's almost like I have to pull that freaking ripcord so that way you know I can get my engine rolling again because I get scared. I get scared when I start you know I start losing my fire and I start and because and it's a lot of times it's because I'm trying to do something and I keep on pushing and I keep pushing and I'm like damn. Shit ain't working, man. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? I'm spending the money. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm doing why? And I'm getting tired also because I'm getting older, you know? And 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 sometimes it just gets to that point that I have to like, okay, I gotta do something to re-inspire myself. I have to, I have to but, I have but what to, happens? What happens when it does go your way? Isn't that the most incredible it's, feeling? It's it's the most incredible, it's the most incredible feeling. It's the most satisfying to be able to take an idea just an idea and create something tangible from this idea and have it make you even a dollar is an incredible incredible feeling then if you could take that one dollar and scale it to a hundred that feeling is like you feel victorious you feel you know and then if that 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 you're creating that dollar that hundred dollars can also help benefit the community that you're trying to serve it's like you feel like freaking like a freaking saint, you know. You feel like wow, a million you know, dollars. Good, feel like a million you know, dollars. I'm, I'm able to help people too. I can mm -hmm. help. I can help people. You know, listen. I had a call from a guy. I don't know if I told you about this, babe. I, I think I did actually. This guy that I consulted with this kid when we first moved here in North Carolina about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. This kid found me like on Craigslist. He found me somehow. We didn't even have freaking, I don't think there's Facebook or nothing. And and he somehow find me, found me. And this kid used to constantly call me. And he's called me and asked me all these questions. And in the beginning, I was answering all the questions. And then he kept calling. And after a while, I was like, oh, I used to see the phone ring. I see his name pop up. I was like, ah. but I always picked up the phone. But there was sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like talking. You just, And you know what they call it for? You're like, and I picked up the phone now, but I would answer these questions. The guy right now lives in Silicon Valley in California. He has his own business. He's a tech guy. Uh, the dude is doing absolutely phenomenal. Right before COVID, he calls me out of the blue. I picked up the phone right away because I hadn't heard from him in about five years or whatever. And... I picked up the phone right away because I was like, oh shit, I haven't heard from this dude. And I'm like, hey man. He was like, T. He goes, what's up? I said, man, so where you been, man? He goes, oh man. He started telling me what was going on with his life. You know? I said, man, that's great. Yo, I mean, like he surpassed me. Like the right. stuff that he's doing is like incredible. But yeah, it was a younger dude. So he was like, he was there, like he was born with a freaking app stuck to his finger. You know what I mean? So I he, yeah, so so he was already and you know and and I've seen pictures of where he lives. I seen where he's driving, and I'm like, yo, this dude, like, and he called me to thank me. He called wow. me to thank me. Yeah. So he was like, he goes, hey man, he goes, I just want to let you know, man. He goes, I feel like he goes, whenever I do something, I'm accomplished. He goes, I, and I tell people about it. He goes, you come up in my conversations. I'm wow. Like, really? Now I. I never once ever thought about this. I right. never thought that this this was ever going on. Like, you know, and 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 he told me, he called me, he wanted to thank me. And he says, hey, if you ever need anything, I'm here. And, you know, and it was just great. And then I went up to his Instagram and I started looking at, he didn't tell me to go on his Instagram. I found him. Because, and, and you know what? The dude could have just sent me to his Instagram and bragged because he had a lot to brag about now. Right. And I was like, but I went on anyway. I was like, holy shit, yo. And he's still a young kid. I think he just had his first son, his first child. Mm -hmm. And he's he's living the life. And he never forgot some of the stuff I that I was saying. 
Right. Huh? He was sincerely, he was sincerely grateful to you. Yeah, yeah. And you know, because, so funny you know, there that... might have been times, there might have been times that he called you that he was yeah. just probably ready to give him, you know, throw in the towel. Or maybe you know, he, just, he just needed some inspiration. Probably. And he probably. called and, you. Know, now, you know? you know, and I felt, I felt so good because I remember how I used to feel when I see his name. I said, like, ah. Oh. But I used to always pick up because he was like, he was really asking me some serious questions. Like you could tell that he was trying to build shit. Right, and, right. And he ran with it. And what's so funny is that I feel the same way. Didn't you and I, didn't we just find one of my first attorneys the other day? How crazy, how crazy is that? Okay, here's a lawyer that represented me when I was like 21 years old or 20, 20, no, I was about 23 years old, 23 years old, represented uh, one of the first, my one of my first published records, helped me get my money, mm -hmm. um, and 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 didn't, didn't charge me a cent, but gave yeah. me a lot of wisdom, a lot of wisdom, I remember, a lot of wisdom, uh, wisdom, and, and just was feeding me all this information, and I just remember him being a really cool guy, and he, he was an attorney, a real attorney, he was a graduate from what, Harvard, and, and, Prince, and, Princeton. and Princeton. How crazy is that? I didn't know this. I didn't know this. And now, and now I just finally, I, I just, after probably I haven't spoken to him in 25 years or more, more like more than, Adam's gonna be 30. So 30 years, I haven't spoken to him, but I just reached out to him to request him online. And, uh, and then I will start. I don't know if he'll remember me. I don't know, but, but I remember him. And I rem it doesn't matter if he remembers you. Yeah. Right now, you just need to let him know he made a difference in your life. Yes, he sure did. You didn't he have sure to have did. made a difference in his life. He made yeah. a difference in your life. And that's going to yeah. make him feel the way you felt when yeah. Joe called yeah. you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yep, you remember yep. that he made that difference. See, I have people like that in my life, and I do let them know you made a difference in my life. Right, right, yeah. You know, it may yeah. have been just them speaking to me in passing, yeah. but something they said resonated with me and resonated in my soul. Yeah, yep. And you never you know? forget it. You yeah. never forget it, you know? Yeah. You know, so, and, and this is, the, and the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I didn't want to go off subject, but the reason was we were talking about the group, group admins and we were telling them to feel free to call us. Because right. that's the satisfaction that we get. It's that. Well, it's a pay it forward. And it's also a pay it forward. Because you've yeah. had people be there for you. I've had people be there for me. Yeah. Now we yeah. want to be there for people. Yeah. You know, and yeah, mentor, we... and mentor as many as we can. Because yes. that's a great yeah. legacy to have as well, to be able to mentor yeah. people. And help right. them to reach their goals. Yes, yes. You know, even though we still have hopes and dreams, and we still have goals we want to reach. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, we're still willing to help others. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah with, with no strings attached. See, that's a big no thing with Freestyle. Unfortunately, you know, people Listen, think that this really and truly, if 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 they succeed, we all succeed. So it benefits yeah. all of us. Yeah. So. It's not like, and it's even like we are doing it for a reason. It's going to benefit the genre that we are in. Yes, yes. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and listen, anybody who's listening to this podcast or any of the other ones that me and Angel are doing, share share them with people that you think it, it, it might touch. You know, this one, if you know any of those group admins, post it, post it, post the interview. You can post the entire interview on um on their pages um and um and, or just have them come in here and listen to it or you know pass the word because if they're not in here there's no way for me to to bring this this information to them there's no way for right. us to right. share this with us so they won't right. they'll never know yeah, they need the to only make a profile they'll... Let's come in make a profile yeah. and check so out the show. way right so you might be the bridge whoever's listening in you guys might be the bridge right now to these people that can probably really use this information so, you know, we would love for you to, you know, pass this on or tap them on the shoulders and say, you need to come in and listen to this. This might be of some value um, for you. And and I just hope people understand where we're going with it. Sometimes, you know, I'm not, I try to articulate things a certain way so that way it's clear. And I don't always do the best job, but I try. And I, I kind of hope that, you know, if you, if you can't hear me, maybe you can feel me, you know, and, uh, 
and that's it. So, but we're gonna we're gonna shut it down anyway. Um, baby, gang, anything? Any last things you want to say? I just the same thing you said. I want people to share this and and reach out to people you know that may benefit from this. Yeah. Tell them, yeah. yeah tell them, make their profile. Let's all get out together. Let's figure this freestyle thing out together. How about that? Yeah. How, how yeah follow. Follow us here. Follow us everywhere. Uh, be be you know be on the on the lookout for our for this um, freestyle on stereo uh, for this ep- these episodes. Look for them. Um, right now we're doing them every day um, unless something comes up. But right as of right now, the every day. Um, so tune in. Uh, we're always trying to bring up topics that we've dealt with in the past. So any of these topics that you you could go back and and kind of binge on the ones that we've done in the past. Keep in mind, it's a new platform for us. So tech, technically, sometimes there's little, you know, we got these little hiccups, but we still try to get the message across. And we, you know, so there, there's uh, there's a lot of great information. Like I said, we're, we're kind of revealing this info. We don't have a set thing. There's no list of topics. We, 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 we kind of talk about this right before the show. And we're like, okay, well, you know, what's something that's been, that we've had to deal with recently? And like this, this was something that we've always thought about. We said, well, you know, let's talk about this because me and Angel talk about it a lot. And now we're willing to talk about it again with each other, but share it with you guys in, in, in hopes that you see and you get an understanding of where we're trying to go with it. You know, so if so anybody has any questions. Listening and everyone that's supporting us. Yes. Yeah. We really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you guys who have been supporting us have been supporting us for many years on all the crazy stuff that we've been doing. So we are we really appreciate you big time. So thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, ask now because we're about to we're about to uh, tune out and uh, until tomorrow. So if not, uh, thank you very much for for listening in and don't forget to share this, please. That's you could do that for us. That 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 will help us share it with the right people with the people who can hear it you know not everybody's gonna be down for it if you know a person or two you can share it with them and tell them they might want to listen to us so until uh until next time guys i appreciate you man thank you very much and peace out bye